I joined the Marine Corps when I was 20 years old. I think I gave my mother a heart attack when I came home and said that I had signed a contract to join the Marine Corps. So I ended up going over to Saudi Arabia. I remember that day well because somebody came running in saying that, that Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. And I was like, who is Saddam Hussein and where in the world is Kuwait? It, it was difficult. We were surrounded by an Islamic state that was very volatile at the time. I was in a hole, actually, in the ground that I had to live in for weeks with artillery going off around me. But I would, I would read my, my, my Bible, and I even had old headphones that I would listen to, to music, like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, and uh, Onward Christian Soldier. It kept me strong during those times. I went into the city, and while I was walking around, a Muslim man came walking up to me, and he was actually actually acting a little shady. He was uh, very nervous, and he asked me if I was a Christian. And I really didn't know what to say. We're in the middle, literally, of the Muslim capital of the world. He takes me up some stairs, and then we go into a, an apartment, and as soon as he opens up the apartment door, I see an altar with a cross behind it. He couldn't profess his faith openly on the streets in Saudi Arabia. His own people would possibly kill him. So he, he really just wanted the fellowship with another Christian. And he was just so proud to, to show me his church. It triggered something within me. It was this incredible sense of, wow, his Lord means more to him than his own, his own life and it really made me realize I am fighting for something so much greater than I think we actually even fathom. Question is, what do we do with those freedoms and liberties that we have?